It's week six of the NFL, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Commanders and the Bears, under the lights on Thursday night. First open way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Tonight we kick off week six with a great Thursday night matchup between the Washington Commanders and the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for visiting Washington, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And here come the Bears, and at the helm is someone that they have a lot of hopes for leading this franchise. The 11th pick in 2021 out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense, and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Now Fields going to throw on the first play. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The safety blitz stays to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. We talked about prior to the game, and it played out right there on the first play, didn't it? This offensive line is going to have his hands full all night long. Now you often speak of scripts to start a game. Does this mean that play number two, they're going to go off the script a little bit? Yeah, what's interesting is that most people, when they script now, they actually script those contingencies in, okay, in case they can't run the play they want to. Uh, it's long distance now. Let's go to that play. like this and now it's a prime opportunity just moments in the game to get a short field touchdown off of their big defensive play now on the other side they were already the underdog in this one they just made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher commanders trot to the field for their first possession and it's the seventh year quarterback out of north dakota state leading the way his third nfl team carson wentz Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders are hoping to provide stability for each other starting in 2022. It's the third team in three years for Wentz and the fourth starter in four years for Washington. The big thing with Wentz has always been staying on the field. And last season in Indianapolis, he played a full 17 games, leading the Colts to a 9-8 record and almost into the playoffs. They run with the Alabama rookie, and that's Brian Robinson. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. On play action, Wentz. Dodson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Commanders take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college.
Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. On second down, there's the option going left. The quarterback run good for 10 that time, but it does lead to a third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. To throw his fields. Throw left side, taken in by Claypool. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Oh, they off it. Now they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Escaping the pressure right. Call it a loss of 12 that time. And that's going to bring up a second and forever. Field's going to keep it once more. No, oh, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he's going to bring this one back to the house. It's a commander's touchdown on the scoop and score. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out execute them, we can walk away with a win. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Back to throw, Fields. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Fields. 
And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And they come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into, you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally as important when you have the short turnaround, what is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now a 1,000-yard rusher a season ago. Antonio Gibson with it. And some room to work. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And now they're in the hurry up. On first down, right back to Gibson. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. They'll go again with Gibson. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they bring this one back. A final return for the Bears touchdown. Santos on to try the extra point. And that'll make it 13 and 7. And you can bet they're reaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Throwing it Terry McLaurin's way again, and he's got it. He's got room at the 30. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Washington. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Commanders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Sly on for the extra point. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. It's caught inside the five. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And the Bears going to take over now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. And he's going to have a first down, and they get into field goal range here at the 29. A gain of 10 yards. The final shot before the break. Fields. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. 
And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here is Washington now to take over. They were winners last week over Tennessee, and they've got the lead here as well. They start this drive out first and 10. Play action. Now wins. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. A big hitter to start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. On play action, it's Wentz. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Winston's throw complete there to Thomas. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a play fake. Wentz. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen man this pass is far more complete. Now, on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it was still moving to a fourth down. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. They'll run with Robinson, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Commanders are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught at the five, and he gets in. Expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Back now at Soldier Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. To throw again on second down. Fields. Claypool with another catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Fields. Able to hit his target Claypool. And he'll be brought down inside the 40 yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Again, Fields. And his throw here is incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Fields. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Washington will have it on the turnover on downs. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. This a quick slant, and he's got Terry McCoy. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. Fields throw complete here to commit. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Fields on third down. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And he will have the Bears first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Dante Pettis, his first touchdown on and the Bears have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by the Commanders, and they are going to win this football game. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That one is slant to McLaurin. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Wentz to throw. And yet again, it's McLaurin. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Wentz now on first down. This will be caught at about the five. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now Wentz to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Commanders are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that pushes the lead up to 23. Commanders, 30 
So that drive spanned five plays. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Bears take over first down 10 at their own 17-yard line. And one last throw here for Fields. He's going to let it fly. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. each other like wow we just pulled this one off in a big way great job of motivating even better job of game planning they were facing a top 10 defense so they had to make sure that everything was buttoned down and they had it ready to go and their guys executed yeah they were concerned not only about moving the ball through the air but also on the ground but both really started to come in sync so for Washington, their good start continues as they get their record up to 4-2. and two. And they'll get a few extra days to savor this one before they take on the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for Chicago, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into 2-4 and four now on the year. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Foxborough to face off against the New England Patriots. Thank mm -hmm. you.